match of season two of the Ollie Pitchley Cleo Cup round one with myself Phil Humphreys and commentating with me is James Davis. Good evening everyone. Great to so, be back. It is. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago but it does in a weird way. So round one we're at Donington uh, on the national layout of the circuit. Uh, a couple of people, familiar names that unfortunately can't can't be with us tonight but are running the season so uh, RSGM unfortunately can't be with us uh, Cam123 unfortunately uh, he's normally the host of this thing but he's actually in hospital at the moment so he's due to uh, health he can't be with us either as uh, Oldie and stuff like that so there's a few of them um, that should be with us but unfortunately can't be so it's going to make it interesting uh, for, the, for the people in the lobby at the moment and the race it'll give them a bit of a head start through the season certainly make the likes of RSGM and Cam's job a little bit tougher so to speak uh, especially with certain, like less races uh, this season to to get the points back as well so definitely make it interesting uh, I mean from the names at the moment there's a few returning from last season who's who's got your attention straight away James? Well Hopman uh, it was strong last season I think I, I think at this track he was strong uh, if I can remember I think sure this was one of the tracks last year um but you've got gary george as well who's who's a very 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 good driver and scooby uh is decent i've not seen lofty eight before so uh he's new to the party so we'll see how he does and uh yeah but i put my money on holtman if you were asking to sort of pin it down to one driver yeah so uh at the moment so sort of lofty eight is just a filler for tonight he's just sort of come in just to sort of get his experience on on league racing up a bit so the names that sort All of right. jump out to me blue goby who's just took provisional pole there as well edu he shined sort of took a little bit while to get into last season um, he's currently in third place he sort of went, picked up and died off a little bit uh, but i think we'll see uh improvement for him he'll definitely be sort of challenging up for a few more holtman is definitely definitely going to be one to watch and you've got frt jella ridges as well and neckleman um i think jella ridges is just a filler for tonight as well and then like you say we've got mm. scooby and and uh and amiga there as well so you know there's a few definitely that i think could upset especially with them having that that one round advantage uh we'll definitely see you know a tough 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 couple few weeks ahead now for rs jim and, and matt so let's go and out on the track and see what's going on. Keep the timing board up. Sorry, um, from what I remember, did, did Blue Gobi win the race of champions? Uh, or was that someone else? No, it wasn't. Oh, it, was he in it though? I'm sure he was in it. Blue Gobi, I think he was in it. God, it seems yeah. it seems like ages ago. I can't <laughs> actually remember who was in it and who wasn't now. Uh, quite a lot's happened since then but at the moment he's got a nice professional poll edu's jumped into second now as well so uh he's very close times though so. yeah he's <laughs> paving the way i mean obviously it's only a couple of laps out at the moment uh Holtman down in fourth uh still respectable time from him at the moment though yeah he's just going through the uh start finish so oh he's slowed down i don't know what that's about that was up Got Nakaman in third. He's chose to run the same library as last season as well. So slightly different format to how it run from last season as well. So it was a twenty only a twenty minute qualifying session. Still have the five minute warm up. And then it's 30 laps so it was a half an hour race uh in this but i think they're going to run it lap in lap base now so some races might be shorter than 30 laps some might be slightly longer but they're, they're, it's going to be around 30 laps per race uh blue goby still holding on to that provisional pole edu unfortunately not shaking it he's actually on this last lap now, which is a yeah. Time. yeah he's uh making it harder for the guys to catch him Bit like Jack Goff in the British Touring Car qualifying today. Yeah. Making it difficult for it was to catch him as well. See Blue Gobi just coming off just ahead of EDU there. 
Oh, we've missed the touring cars. What six weeks it's back tomorrow? Yeah, six weeks I'll back be, tomorrow. Uh, I'll be sitting on the couch from about ten, eleven, tuning in. So there's Amiga, who's currently running a third there as well. See if he can improve on this lap. So nice to see him back at the top. I mean, he he didn't do too bad in qualifying last season, uh, but unfortunately, he just had. It's it just had unlucky races where something would happen. He might get sort of contact with someone else, just go out, and then I don't know. He yeah. just couldn't seem to find his his flow <clears> during the race. So hopefully, you know, this season we'll see Amiga back to his winning ways. Yeah, I mean, to be fair to him, he, he had a lot. He was pacey in the uh, GT3 the other night, and I've been all season. I mean, uh, we had a few laps where we were tussling, but he, he just he was just faster than the with me on the straight it was uh difficult to keep up so he's, he's got that consistency in the gt3 he can you know if, i think he was third or fourth uh, the other night so he can bring that over to the cleos and he's got every chance of a good finish yeah i mean i think one thing you can find especially with with sim racing is i think you can go through this sort of phase where i think you you kind of just i don't know you you separate yourself from the game and you you do sort of have a bad run uh, he's actually moved down to fourth now Amiga Holtman's moved into second uh, pushed EDU down to third as well but I think you can go through a, a, a spot where you just don't connect with the game I think you do lose a bit of interest um, especially I mean Project Cars is a game since release that most people in, in next gen racing have, have, some some guys were racing it like four or five times a week and that, that was pretty much from release up until sort of two months ago if you think about it during last season there's 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 people that put a lot of time into this game and i think you know like anything it it, it run it core it's run its course people are starting to you know especially with a set of course are coming out now people have got different options of what to play and, you know that, i think that can play factors yeah well, we saw it. I mean, we saw it in the race of champions. Those who, who like um, have shown like incredible sort of consistent pace in project cars uh, had some time away on a set of course. Uh, so <clears throat> they sort of like I don't know come out of the zone in in project cars, and and you, you could only sort of say their performance during that race of champions was was lacklustre or, or not up to their normal their normal standards by a mile and, and that just goes to show that as you say you are right you can you can either be in the zone or out the zone with a sim i think i think one thing with with that i mean not taking any away from from the players that that came from play from hammering a set of courses that came back to this to fill the race of winners a set of course is a much different feeling game than this and a lot of people do say that if you get used to a set of course, uh, it's quite hard because the the force feedback. I, I think anyone will agree with this. The force feedback in project cars is is nowhere near the force feedback in a set of course. So you do get a lot more force feedback in in a set of courses. So coming back to it, especially for diehard sim races, it it can be a big change, and it's it's one that you know that can affect people as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, definitely not not taking any from from any of the people in racer winners. Uh, it's you know they'll they'll hopefully admit themselves they've they've completely lost it on project cars. Project cars two, I'm really really looking forward to. Um, yeah. A set of course there for me. Though. It's you know it's a great game, but I think it's a great single player game. The multiplayer just lacks in it. Uh, where project cars for me is is just a perfect perfect uh, online multiplayer game. Uh, single player. Pff, probably not so much uh, but for online races I, I think it's superb um, we're halfway better, through qualifying so... sorry James yeah, go on, yeah, say, gone quick, it? Um, no I think for, for the second project cars I'd like to see with the AI that you can crank it up above 100% because you can do it on most sims on the PC um, but in terms of that it's like some.
just no interest whatsoever as a result because there's no competition, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Uh, sorry about the pause in, in thing there. I was just sending out an invite for someone that, that wants to have a, a go in the race tonight. Uh, so we're on board with Holtman at the moment. Uh, he's closed the gap to Blue Gobi, but not quite yeah. enough. Blue Gobi's still doing enough to, to stick out first. I, I think probably that's going to be our, our poll time tonight for Blue Gobi. Uh, or 1.15. Uh, Matt Jordan, so who can 1.23, who's, who's normally racing... Uh, who can't be with us. Uh, hope feeling better soon, Matt. Uh, he's saying blue go before yep. pole and the win tonight. Fair dues. I, um, I definitely, yeah, I, I can't see. I can see maybe Holtman getting a slightly bit closer to the tie, but that's a pretty good qualifying time, that. You say he's in hospital, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's anything too serious. Uh, he's just unfortunately... I was say, he's on the Wi-Fi. What's his excuse? Why does he get his PS4 down for the hospital? Yeah, he's take your PS4 down, down the Aussie. Yeah, come on, Matt. Sort it out, lad. Hope you feel better soon, mate. <laughs> so, just under eight minutes left to go. And here we go. Holtman coming up to the line. Is he going to improve on his time? A little bit of a run yeah. there for you. He does improve on his time. He's, oh, he's not enough. for... Have I jinxed it for Blue Gobi? Because... That is very, very close to his time now. Yeah. But has Holtman got enough in him to to beat that time? Well, he goes for the old hairpin. It's uh, that's that's where you gain or you lose your time around here. He, he it's still interesting because I've been food. doing a lot of you know putting in a lot of laps at Donington National because it's the next. Um, track for the British Virtual Touring Car Championship on. I mean I love this track. Uh, I think for these cars oh, it's, yeah. it's a great track. It's not not really too many demanding corners. Probably chicane at the end is probably the most difficult corner to get right. Probably maybe corner one as well. It's a bit of a, a tricky yeah, corner. It's a field like it's uh... Oh, right, he's like, he right over the curve for the yeah. straight line and it through the chicane, but for it, you know, he's not got a penalty, so it's uh, all good. Let's see, I think he's going to be quicker. No, that discounted, no, it discounted his it lap did, at the yeah. end, so yeah, it looked like he, he took a bit too much out of the chicane. So he's obviously he's push, he's obviously pushing it, he, he wants it. Uh, Jeller has just, just moved into third and pushed EDU down to fourth. A lot of <laughs> those in the 16s are very close as well. Yeah, it's in in all honesty, apart from Dark Sykes, who's oh, just joined. Uh, Gary George. Oh, there he So straight under the radar there. He's just completely he's snuck just, he's in. He's just ninja move, Annie. Yeah, he, he did a, a complete ninja move on us there, to be fair. So, and Blue Gobi as well. So, Blue Gobi will now be pushing as hard as he can. Got about four laps left. Three or four laps. Depending on where you're on track. Hotman coming into the last uh, bit now. A bit neater on the curves there, so if he's uh, got a valid lap time coming up, we'll see if he can get ahead of uh, Gobi or Daddy. Here we go. Oh. Oh, it must have he must have got a Cut track on that as well because it's not not counted. It's not give his lap time, so uh, he might push in just a little bit too hard. But look how close that is between first and third now. There's absolutely nothing yeah, between them. George comes across the speed line now, so is, it, is he going to improve on his time, make it harder for those to get ahead of him? He doesn't, and we've nope. got Blue Gobi who's just coming through the chicane now onto the home straight. Got this because the the front three are sort of like on that part of the track where they're going to be putting times in very close to each other. He hasn't gone quicker though, Gobi. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a bad point you made there. I mean, even though they haven't improved on the time, the the very very close in the one sixteen time that they've both just pulled out there as well. I've yeah, got yeah. Holtman who's coming down the the back straight now, approaching Shane. 
I think he's cut it again there. He's... Unless he knows that he's down on his time and he's just trying to get the lap in. Oh no, he didn't. No, he, that was allowed. But slightly, you know, in the 116, slightly better um, out of them. EDU's now in the 15s as well. He's got a 115. Just under, he's just just about in the 115 section there. But we've got four in the 115s now. So from qualifying, this is going to be a very, very close race. Yeah. That first corner is going to be vital, really. <clears throat> Would have been interesting if Matt and RS Jim was in this race tonight as well. Uh, that would have liked to see what kind of times they they were putting out. You know, I'm sure the action is going to be just as intense. Oh yeah, well it's shaping up to be from uh, those times there. What, what half a oh, second? Oh, EDU in the dirt there as well. I think he was on his out lap, so tyres will be stone cold. So like last season as well, out. it's uh, it's running on stock setup. Tyre wear is on, but it's set to slow. Uh, there's no fuel usage on it, so it's you know that that doesn't come into play. Uh, but with tyre wear being on slow, it's you're probably not going to wear your tyres down really. Um, I don't think that's going to going to cause any problems. Uh, and there's there's no damage uh, on so. All good. Bit of a controversy in the group, I suppose. In the other, well, I suppose you say controversy, but uh, a change that you've made with the um, weather. For the GT3 no longer going to have a random session. Oh, for GT3, yeah, it was so. In our GT3 league on Wednesdays, what happens is it starts with the weather and it's day. So if it cloudy, sunny, whatever, and then. Half like what we do is we have two weather slots, so we do it times two. So they should last approximately half an hour each. Obviously, you've got the transition that can change the time of that, um, and then we put it as random. But for the last couple of GT3 races, it's especially in our group, it, in our lobby, it's just gone to rain. A um, few people moaning about it, so now we're just going to stick to to that. But in like like Clear Cup, what happens is it 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 races the weather is is on the day, so it's it's heavy cloud it'll yeah. just stick as heavy cloud um i quite like the random even though it might rain every race it's that i you don't know what's going to happen and it does mean that sometimes you have to play around with yourself and it makes it does make qualifying a bit more interesting because if you don't get your timing at the start and it does start raining you're pretty much not going to get that that best lap timing so for me i quite i quite enjoyed it um but some people. We'll see how the change goes. I mean, um, it, it keeps keeps people happy, and you know, if it's if it's raining on the track, uh, on the weather for the day, um, then they're going to get rain for the whole of the race and qualifying, not just a, a random slot. So, it can work against it. It can work both ways in many respects. Oh, look at that blue slot, then... blue goby right at the end. I mean, unfortunately, not enough to to knock Gary off, but this. You know, there's nothing, nothing in it at all, really, between a, a, a lot no. of the drivers there. It's that's a pretty close grid. Um, so we've got a five minute warm up now. Uh, I think we used to fill this with just talking about general game chat and our gaming yeah, yeah. talk. So what's new? So GT Sport Beta that that came to an end. Um, there's more sort of stuff. I don't know if you've seen any uh, videos online, but um, IGN have got some of the photoscapes mode in the career. I say career with my fingers uh, going up and down, but career, it's, I wouldn't really call it a career. Uh, I'd call it a single player option. <laughs> but have you seen any of the GT Sport footage going around? To be honest, no. No, I've not. I've not even watched much of the Project Cars because um, <clears throat> practicing quite a bit for the uh, Touring Car Championship and sort of like just trying to um, get a bit of practicing for the GT3 races on Wednesdays because I went back to the BMW Z4, so it's been uh, 
it's been learning that car again after that using the McLaren. So, I, you know, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, GT Sports at the moment, I did I did really want the the beta when it was uh, on, but no matter what, I didn't get an invite. So I was just devastated about that. But it's not really it's not really pulling my interest at the moment. But Project Cars Two is. But as I say, I've, I've only watched a few videos and but. A, yeah, there's there's heaps and heaps of project cars because they obviously released yeah. the 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 lid on. They've said that to obviously the people that you can now post uh, footage online. So it's nice to see like the cars that we are getting like confirming that Lamborghini uh, a GT3 is definitely going to be in it and stuff like that. So the GT3 yeah. list looks looks immense. I like the the GTE list as well. Um, I think it'll be good to Plus run got the, GT3 the and... track list, haven't you? Yeah, that that track list superb. I mean, it's obviously built on. Uh, I mean, it's nice to see all the all the tracks from this game are in are still in it, and then they've obviously added onto that there as well. So nice to see that they've added more cars in like the touring car uh, class as yeah. well. So that that'll you know that'll be one that I'll definitely be keen keen to get involved with as well. And GT3, I love GT3, so it's nice to see that they've got that. Uh, yeah, but biggest thing for me though is the handling. What everyone's talking about the the physics and all that just being now it's a sim it's 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 a sim it's like up there with you know Sasso and that and uh yeah and it's not sort of looks like it's not just like the developers saying it. it's a lot of people that are playing it are saying that that the games yeah yeah come huge even those from... who were like really critical of the, the first project cars um like i think it's john sable of inside sim race and he 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 hasn't such like the original project cars because he said that the tire model is is just shocking uh there's no sort of flex in the tire you don't know when you sort of like get into that threshold under braking so but he said it's 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 there in project cars too so he's happy with the way it feels at the moment and yeah, hopefully I mean, they, can... they're not going to dumb it down for release yeah that's the thing and it's you, you i mean we could we could only go off what we can see i mean the, the game looks good the one one thing that i haven't seen a lot of that i really want to see more is the live track where it says like oh if you if dirt comes on the track and stuff like that so i, I haven't really seen many people sort of showing that off i want to see like someone just putting a car on a dirt and wheel spin and kicking loads of dirt up to show it going on the track i i, I want to see that i watched one video before and i think it was obviously like shortened down but he'd done like an endurance race i think he'd done about 30 30 laps um, and the track did deteriorate there was more sort of like tire marks like when breaking zones and stuff like that so that's the first yeah, time yeah. that i've seen it where the track did and it went from dry to wet and then to dry and the the, the dry line definitely did appear in the track so i mean in next year we do a lot of like longer races so i think you know that's, that's definitely big, i i, I can't i can't wait to see that actually the track evolve over the the race sort of thing so the, you know but again i i mean i've pre-ordered it but as a lot most games not just racer games but most games this generation they come out and they're hindered with one bug or another so fingers crossed it won't be uh you know the odd little bug here and there i can i can live with but you know let's just hope it's stable and it's you know it's it's good to go from out the box um yeah yeah gt sport i, I might get it i don't know if project cars 2 is as good as everyone's saying it's going to be am i am i going to be able to fit in another racing game i, I don't know i suppose it depends on what i don't know what Grand Turismo sports sport going to offer me in terms of what project cars is in there's a couple of cars yeah. in there like the jag and stuff like gt3 jag that i want to that i'd like to be in project cars too but it isn't uh, but i don't know if that's enough to make me go out and spend 45 50 quid on a game that isn't really going to give me enough uh but that's the end of the five minutes uh warm up and this week's gaming chat we definitely need a little jingle for that don't we yeah we do we'll have to get one sorted for next week lad so wait for the lights to go green and then we'll catch up with the action as quick as we can yes retire also looking for that spectator mode as well where we don't have to sort of yeah. mess around with this so uh we've got amiga still out in front of holtman second ed third so he's moved up space down in fourth on, uh, thanks at the back 
Well, everyone got through pretty clean there. Nice. Yeah, it's nice little uh, train of Clio Cup cars. So Amiga's still out in front. Holtman. So the top four. Making it through any sort of chaos at the start. I think EDU has the one that's got the best for it at the moment though. He's moved up into third. We've got a battle here Blue with Jelly Ridge. Oh no, Blue, 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 yeah, I was just going to say Blue. So, yeah, Blue Gobi, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know where we got caught up in some chaos. That was Jelly Ridge is just going off there. Scooby yeah, says Three thank places. you very much. Uh, big, big, big Sykes there is able to capitalise on that off as well. So, unfortunately, Jelly Ridge has lost a couple places there. He's on the outside of the chicane. Slow through Breaks there. Hard, yeah, I think he did that to avoid any kind of incident. I think. Was that a uh, I don't cut know if that. I don't know if yeah. I don't know if that big is getting a cut track. Uh, or yeah, I think he must have done because I was going to say maybe he felt that he might have got in the way of someone and he's let him past. But he's definitely let too many people pass to to look like that was the reason. But Blue Gobi is really fighting for position here. So he's got Neckerman just in front as EDU kicking up the dirt in front of them as well. He's got a nice little toe. Unfortunately, can't find a way past here yet. EDU had a, must have had a great start. I mean, up to third. And but Globy's fighting back. He's right on the tail of Neckerman now. Yes, and you can see Holtman right on the tail of Amiga up in first place there as well. Blue Gobi looks like he's got a good run out of here. I don't know if he's going to have enough to get past Neckerman. Is he going to try and pull a move here? Thinks about it now. I think he's going to slot back in. Heavy break in. He gets a good run out of the chicane and moves up a place into fourth. Neckerman can only watch it happen. And we've got Scooby who's not far behind them there as well. Let's see if there's any close battles going on. No, it's all happening at the front. Neckerman is back on it here as well. Oh, Amiga has now moved down to third. And EDU has moved up to first. Defensive driving here. It's doing everything he can. Oh, is Holtman going to find a way past him? Fantastic drive from EDU. So, oh, look. There's Amiga back on. I don't know where Amiga found that speed from then. But he was straight up the side of... Holtman and Holtman could do it. Oh, into the back of EDU. This is close, clear cup racing. And that was an amazing drive from Amiga to get you know, back up, back back from fourth. Or third to first, sorry. Uh, Blue Gobi is still well in this and Neckerman as well. It's, I wouldn't be able to call this one at the moment. And EDU. Great little move up the side of NGR Amiga there. That's an awesome move from EDU. He's really shown what he's made of this season so far. I mean, if opening rounds were anything to go by, who could you call at the moment? Break it around. Tough Amiga. one, sorry. I'm still here. My Chinese delivery arrived. Oh. And hope that, unfortunately, not getting oh. the best line through quarter one. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to arrive in Salapa. It's making um, it difficult for Gobi to get past. <sighs> oh, Gobi and Holtman side by side. Oh, oh got Gobi's... no contractors yet. Yeah. Oh, exceptional driving by these two. Oh, well. Very, very close. Gobi. It has the edge for the corner. Holtman has to concede. But he's got a good drive out of this. And we've got Neckerman, who's just behind them as well. So this has allowed Amiga and EDU to slightly get in front. This will be a great result for EDU if he can maintain it and stay out in front. Oh, Holtman and Gobi really battling side by side through the chicane there. And... This is oh, Neckerman, free, free wide. wide. And here's Scooby joining in the fun now as well. 
go down the inside. Oh, he slots oh, in. Oh, it's clean Holtman at the has to eat up the dirt there as well. And we've got... Jella, Jella Ridges is now in the fight there as well. <laughs> I mean, Amiga... It's a five way to third. I mean, Amiga is is definitely sort of running away with EDU at the moment there. So that's Blue Gobi going wide there. But, my, my, exceptional racing. Mm. What an opening round so far. So just how close it is there, oh. the cars go past the camera. Scooby's trying to find a way through here. Oh, Scooby. Oh, Scooby's going right. Unfortunately, going Allowed off there as well. The so, Holtman slightly getting away from them now. Off that moment of absolute Cleo madness where it was just car after car. But Holtman not getting the best exit out of the chicane. So, Nakaman, I'm not sure what's happened, but as a. The front runners have slightly pulled away from there. Whether he, he had a bit of a penalty coming out of the chicane, maybe. Not sure. Possibly. Scooby kicking up the dirt there in front. But looks like he's got a good run. So know, close to the front, and uh, Eddie just running a bit wide, but still. Blue Gobi's on Holtman here again. They seem to like battling on this part of the track. <laughs> Ooh. Nice defensive driving from Holtman. Yeah, Scooby closing in now, just uh, taking advantage of the, the battle between these two. I think Blue Gobi might be able to do Holtman here. Yeah, he'll have the inside line going into the chicane. Holtman has slightly got the edge on him for the corner though. Yeah, yeah Blue Gobi concedes the place. Careful not to cut too much and get a penalty. So Good to see that he... later etiquette there by Gobi. Could have been aggressive. Yeah, I mean, Blue, Blue Gobi's one of those that, you know, will race fair. Um, he'll push mm. hard, but he, he'll never do he'll never do anything that would would cause incident. Uh, on, not on purpose, anyway. Obviously, mistakes can happen, but he's you know he is one of the the cleaner drivers that we we see in next gen. As a most in this uh, this race, and who we see anyway. I mean, we rarely rarely hear of like complaints anymore and like incidents of like unsportsmanlike conduct or whatever oh you know e I mean? edu sort of break hard there uh, amiga has to break very hard to uh, to avoid anything at all but does lose a bit of ground on that uh whether the pressure is now piling up on edu as well he's not taking yeah, corners quite again. as fast as as what he can that that leader pressure can sometimes build up and some people can't handle it now edu for some reason it's just completely moved out of the way. He's decided to go for the inside line, but not always. I think that was the... defensive. Yeah, but not not always the best line to to get the fastest entrance into into the chicane, really. But I mean, he's it's paid off for him. So I don't know. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what do I know by by the looks of it? <laughs> um, Holtman's still in third, but Blue Gobi just behind him as well. Scooby yeah. still running well in fifth. Has managed to pull slightly away from Neckerman. Uh, Jella Ridges as well, slightly behind them. And we've got Lofty 8, who's in 8, so he's running well for his first race. Oh, back up at the front. Blue Gobi almost getting on two wheels there. Takes that corner very well. Can he get past these? These two seem to really like battling on this part <laughs> of the track. I think on every lap they've been yeah. side by side. side, by side. Door to door. <laughs> Again, oh. both, both cars avoided any contact. Holtman made his car as wide as possible. Said, unfortunately, if you want to get past, you're going to have to try harder than this. And Blue Gobi, yeah, he had a McGann's arse there, not a Cleo's. Yeah, Blue Gobi almost had to change it into a, an off-road Cleo. Scooby <laughs> is just watching it unfold. He'll be ready to pounce if, if any mistakes happen. At the moment, the drivers fighting really well for their places. And there's 22 laps left to go. 
So we're back with the front two. Oh, EDU all get, almost getting out of shape there as well. It's allowed Amiga to gain a little bit. So he's going to get a better run down the hill. So I think we might see Amiga challenge for the position. Yeah, same at the back there. Well, say at the oh, back, Amiga of the back take, yeah, a little bit. I think Amiga's struggling to get past the EDU. is making this extremely, extremely difficult for him. He can't seem to find yeah. the line through. I thought he was going to make... A challenge for it, just there. Look at Gobi here. I'm gonna try and get the undercut on the inside going into this. Uh, these two corners now. Yeah, I think Holtman's done enough to to defend it again. So he survives another lap. We've got Jella Ridges who's slightly caught up to Neckerman there as well. So a little bit of breathing space in between them, but definitely has closed that gap on them. And I can still see the front runners as well, so yeah. not all is lost. So sort of spread out at the back there. So we're back with, so I mean the, the gap between first and second and third and fourth is, it's like the... Uh, the, both copying each other for battles, really. It's, yeah. It's, it's... Well, you're getting a minute image or the re a replay of what's just happened yeah. up ahead. Yeah, it's like ghosting. Here it <laughs> comes, these two favourite parts of battle. It's going to try and do the switch. Holtman is not budging, though. Holtman is, is making it as hard as he can for Blue Gobi to get past. There's been a defensive masterclass so far from Eddie yeah, and Holtman. Holtman. Is, Holtman is doing a superb defense, defensive drive here. Don't anyone, just not able to get the toe. Jelleridge is now caught up to Nakamut even more. So good battle for six that could show itself in a lap or two laps. Oh, the Hotman's got a cut track. I've got to let Gooby into fourth. Oh, that's a real shame for him. But oh, we, we've seen it. this before from Hotman. I mean, he can have, he can go down to last place. I mean, there was a couple of races last season where he went down to last place and mm. he pushed hard. He ended up finishing second or third. So the, the, this is definitely not over for Hotman. Now we're going to see him charge and we're going to see him charge hard now. So hold on to your hats, Hotman. Is definitely going to be pushing now, but going to be in Rhino mode. Charge! Scooby is going to make it as hard as he can, but Gobi's now got clean track in front of him. Doesn't have to worry about battling here. He can take the best lines. That should allow him to catch up to Amiga and Edu, and Edu's still making it Amiga. Uh, still making it difficult for Amiga to get past. It's fantastic racing at the moment. Mm. So let's have a look at lap time. See who's got the best lap of the race so far. Quickly Good scan over it. Uh, it's uh, Amiga, Amiga with a 115.3. Then Holtman, then Edu. Oh no, Blue Gobi and then Edu. So they're, they're very close, those four. Yeah, similar times. Gobi's just outside the 15, so you can see why he's, he's doing well running up in fourth. It's all about consistency, isn't it? I mean, you could have the, the fastest lap, but if your other laps are all a minute slower than everyone else, then it, it doesn't really mean anything, to be fair, does it? EDU, can no. he hold it? I think Amiga's got a good run on him here. It's just found a way past. Great defensive driving by EDU there as well, but I think Amiga might have found a way now. He's managed to yeah, force no, his way through no, the inside. Good defending again from Holtman. Uh, not Holtman, sorry, from Edu. Edu got a great little drive. I thought he was going to get it, but Amiga just couldn't find it. The power to get to get up in front, so Edu holds on. <sighs> Take a breath. And we've still got... Oh, Holtman has managed to get past Scooby now as well, so it didn't take him long. No. But he's got a little bit of... A gap to cover up smoke there from the tyres of Blue Gobi. 
And here we are, Amiga and EDU, now side by side. Amiga taking a wide entry into the corner. Slightly lighter on the break there than EDU. The I think he's he's definitely he's made his way past now. Got it. He's done it, but for how long? Oh, I think he can make it stick here. Old hairpin. I mean, Amiga definitely does look quicker through this corner as well. EDU, I oh, jinx it again. He EDU gets again. a much better run. We see it happen so many times. The hunt, hunter becomes a hunted and it all changes. EDU has to break a lot harder with the line that he's on there. So Amiga's still out in front. And Blue Gobi now, is Altman's catching up to them back. here as well. Altman's got him to six. He must Whoa. have got another cut back somewhere. Unless he's had an, an off. Maybe at the old hairpin. Possibly. But he's the field has caught up to him a little bit there as well. Maybe pushing a little bit too hard. So Jella Ridges will be trying to take that position off him. Blue Gobi's definitely oh, coming into play here. Little, for the, for almost the a lock up there from Jella Ridges. I think a late break in, but avoids any kind of incident there. So avoids oh, any contact. Up by Yadu. So Amiga does get past again. Can he hold on to it? Yeah, he takes very, advantage. Very, very yeah, close well there. Just a tap on the brakes there from Edu. Edu. This is phenomenal racing side by side again. This has proved to be a great section of the track for battles at the <laughs> moment. Slots through. Look and like Blue Gobi is, is now right back on the tail of these two as well. I'm flying as well. Scooby's not too far behind. It's just over 16 laps left of this race. I we need to get the halfway point and flown by. Superb opening round to the Ollie Pitchley Clio Cup second season. ADU makes a terrible oh. mistake there. Blue Gobi flies through into second place. <coughs> Excuse me. So, can Amiga hold on to that top spot? ADU challenging now as well, charging up through the corner there as well. Unfortunately, can't get past. Blue Gobi. And we've got Nekelman. You know if, um, who's now... Ollie Pidgeley's at Snetterton tomorrow, is he? Yeah, I he believe so. I believe so. Did he race today or is it all tomorrow? I'm not sure, mate, to be fair. I've, I, I don't know. All right. Well, good luck if he is. Certainly so, Blue Gobi. Oh, Amiga almost locking up there. Managed to get the car under control. I mean, can you call it at the moment? Um, I, I think no. <laughs> Blue, I don't know. I'd, I'd, if it was a better man, I'd put money on Blue Gobi. Uh, he's obviously sort of, you know, went down a little bit. He's managed to get back up, so he's definitely got pace. Mm. Now coming here, challenging Scooby for fourth. Oh, uh, so question on YouTube from Craig Man. I'm assuming all these guys are using steering wheels. I think most of them do, but not not all of them do. Uh, I definitely know uh -oh. Amiga does. Uh, I'm, EDU, I'm not really too sure about, and Blue Gobi, I'm not sure about. But no, in in our league, there's there's guys on pads and there's guys on wheels, and there's some really fast guys on pads as well. So uh, so open to all. Oh, contact with Blue Gobi and Amiga oh. there. Both. Put it through. full blast through the old hairpin. Oh, that was... Unfortunately, when racing gets that close, mistakes can happen. Uh, Blue Gobi right into the back there as well of Amiga. It's allowed Scooby to catch up. Neckerman's just behind him and Holtman is right on the tail there as well. Uh, question from Witek 86 hd Hi, can you join me? I don't know if that's meant to say, can you join? Um, you can join Next Gen. Uh, find us on Facebook. Uh, it's Next Gen Racing Leagues Community. 
uh, are joining there. At the moment, the, the the league is full. You can always apply to be a filler. So if there's any weeks where space is available, you can always uh, pop in for a race there as well. Holtman might have a penalty. It looked like a bit of a cut track there. And it is. And he might lose space to Jelleridges again here. He might just be able to get going in time. But yeah, feel free to join. Some some leagues have got spaces left as well, so we have we you know we have the leagues running on a set of Corsa uh, and Project Cars, uh, and most nights of the week there is some kind of racing going on as well. So feel free to join us uh, and get involved. But we're always looking for people. You know, if there's ever room, if person people can't make it to the leagues, more than welcome to to come and join in in the races. Yeah, so EDU, race close, due to the, the incident with Blue Gobi, and Amiga is now nicely out in front. So it is going to make it slightly harder now. But, you know, we've still got 13, just over 13 laps left for this race. So still plenty of time for it all to happen. Uh, fastest lap is still going at the moment to Amiga. EDU must be absolutely loving this tonight, though. I'm pretty sure his heartbeats are at a very high rate at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I think we both agreed last season that he, he was one of the drivers that I think out of everyone showed the, the most improvement from where from the first race to the, to the last one. Oh, yeah, and I mean, some races towards after a halfway point in the season, he was right up there and he had a lot of pace. So real close driving now from Neckerman to Scooby. Oh, Jelleridge is using as much of the grass as he can there. Lugobi is now here. back on Amiga here. There we see our first of the back markers coming up. Blue Gobi's made it into second. And he's got the nice move there. This for the corner. Yeah, it's obviously just getting the, you know, the the lines the corner. There's the back marker just getting out of the way for him. Flash of the lights to say thank you from Blue Gobi. Amiga's got a good exit here. He's going to try and there sneak up the inside. Can he hold it? Can he hold it? Very close to the track limits there, but yeah, it's deemed the okay the by, by Project Cars. So, I mean, obviously, the game says it's okay. Then it is. Obviously, penalties are on, so if people, if the game does deem it to be a cut track, it will slow the cars down. So EDU just nicely cruising out in front now. This is where the real battle is at the moment though for second place. So bit of a battle off there between Nackerman and Scooby now. Yeah, these two have been at it for a couple of laps now. Is Neckerman going to try and do a late lunge here? Nicely done. Oh, oh no, a little bit of contact there as well. I think Sco yeah, what Scooby's eased off, eased off and let him through. Um, you know, that, that, that is, you know, that is, there's nothing intentional in that there as well. Scooby's gone no, for no. it, had a bit more drive through the corner due to the line that he's being took. Uh, but, you know, he does, he does concede it. I suppose he could have kept on driving there as well. Um, I don't think either driver would have been penalised there as well. It was, it was. I would have classed it as racing. So, you know, Definitely. little dab of the brakes there from Scooby, but Neckerman getting a nice drive away from him. Oh, but look at this! Holtman is right on the tail of Scooby now. Yes. Trying to find a way past. Hartman going to try up the inside here. Well, thinks about it, but 
bails out at the last minute there as well. Scooby probably took a deep breath there. Looks like Jello Ridges might have had a penalty there as well. Just have a look back at the top. So EDU still running away. So we'll stay with Holtman for a little bit here. Looks like he's got a good run out the chicane. And Scooby is only going to be able to say, off you go then. Although are we going to see Scooby? I thought we might see Scooby maybe sort of take a late lunge around the outside of the corner there. Maybe that was his intention, but the execution didn't come off for him. Yeah, I mean, Holtman flashed the lights there, so I think maybe he sort of saw him back off a little bit. I don't know, but a uh, little flash of lights to say thanks. So, not sure what they were, what they do, but obviously, respectful driving shown from everyone tonight, which is what it's all about at the end of the day. So EDU is just absolutely, he must be putting it into cruise control at the moment. He's got quite a good lead with nine laps. Well, yeah, nine laps left to go. Oh, oh is that a, Oh, what's happened there? Actually, he just jinxed him completely. And that's Amiga. Looks like Amiga's got a penalty there, is it? No, I think Amiga's okay. Oh, he might have done. Oh, I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if, if Amiga did get a penalty or not. It looked like he's a little bit slow coming out of the chicane. But that has just completely, maybe, probably gifted the win to Blue Gobi. I'm not going to say anything else because I'll probably jinx it again. Because <laughs> every time I've spoke tonight, it's then ended for misery. And the person that I said it's going easy for... It's definitely not been easy for Holtman tonight. He seems to have sort of problem after problem uh, where he's, you know, he, it's been an off or a cut track, but, you know, no, say that, he's, he's not far off Saying the that there, three. looks like he's just got another cut track there after oh, yeah. I've <laughs> just spoke again. And there Dear goes me. Scooby past him. Dear me. So... I don't really want to mention anyone having a nice drive now because it probably, I don't know, maybe the car will blow up. But Holtman's going to be pushing hard now. He's probably kicking himself at the end of this race. Thinking it could have been better. Such a shame for EDU though. He, was, he led the race for the majority of it. Uh, one little mistake. But, you know... It's, Still eight laps left, and anything could happen for him. But it's been a phenomenal race for him. Hats off to him. So keep stay with Holtman now. So Holtman again has to get past Scooby. Is he going to be able to find a way past? Oh, look like the back end got a little bit wobbly on him there. Yeah, Holman, I can have a look here. Get the car under control again. Yeah, I'll have the better exit. Yeah, he's got a much better exit than Scooby from that corner. Slots in. You can see the, the lights of the cars out in front. It'll be like a fly to one of those machines at night. You'll just be homing in. <laughs> Seven laps left. And it looks like Neckerman is catching on EDU as well. Oh, saying that, he then has an off on corner one. Allows EDU just to break away slightly a little bit. Blue Gobi's coming up to some traffic now as well. I think the back markers will just make it as easy as they can for him to pass see if there's any battles going on there isn't everyone 
Scooby's not too far behind Holtman. I do like this. This this track is perfect for these little cars. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Holtman is not a million miles away from EDU, so he can he can probably taste that podium spot, that third place. We have to get past Neckerman as well. Yeah. I mean, Holtman's definitely got it in him. Not the best line through the first corner there for Holtman. A little dab of the brakes there. Gets a good exit through that. He's definitely gaining on Neckerman at the moment. Is he going to be able to get past... Oh, could be another cut track penalty there as well. It certainly is. Is Scooby going to be able to capitalise on this? I think he may be able to just switch in front. I think he's going to have the speed on him. No, I think it's just going to close in time. Yeah, the door closed, unfortunately, on that one. But I think oh, Holtman does have to be... going to be kicking himself after this. Holtman's going to have to be careful because he... obviously too many cut tracks and that will just disqualify it or just put you to the pit so do you need to be careful yeah, yeah Holtman's definitely going to be kicking himself after this race so as the back markers just getting out of Amiga's way and I see them happening oh slow car on the track oh that's a nightmare for EDU that's an absolute nightmare for him. And I think Sportsman driving there by Neckleman slows down, doesn't take advantage of the incident. Too much anyway, obviously the gap has closed hugely. I think that might have been Greener Army who was involved in that. This is this is why we try and say if you're back marker, hold your line, don't turn, let the faster guys go around you because when you come off your line that you're on, 99% of the time it causes incidents. So the best thing to do is just hold your line, let the faster guys go around you. Nakaman's going to be able to get past EDU here. EDU will feel very, very sore about this one. You feel that you know, maybe, you know, first couldn't have been, but third could have, could have, should have really been his. I mean, the race isn't over. We'll see. He's got a great drive here, though. Might be able to get that third place back. Yeah, Certainly Hoffman does. Also chasing up. Certain parts of the track that EDU has got nailed down. And the old hairpin is definitely one of them. But, yeah, Hopman... Now back on these guys as well. Holtman could get third What's here. What's happened to Gabby George? That's, oh, no, a, that's, back, a, back that's a back marker. Woo! Yeah, it's a back marker. Panic over. Just for a moment then. Holtman gets a nice drive out of the chicane there as well. So does EDU. The FRT Nakaman teammates trying to keep it clean. Oh, great! Hopman great to get the fourth. Yeah, unfortunately, locks up, locks up there as well. I think Nakaman is going to say, yeah, "Yeah, go on, then back, you go front." The <coughs> sportsmanship. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, I, 
I, I would have said it's okay to carry on there. It was sort of a late lunge down the inside. It was, you know, you had a better line. Depends, isn't it? Like, oh, is from that their a... Oh, he's got a slow... Oh, a uh, lucky. Looks like a cut trap for, for Nackerman. That's unfortunate for him. So, two and a half, uh, three and a half laps left. And Holtman has now got third place in his sights. It looks like it is Blue Gobi's race. But it's pretty much been action from start to finish at the moment. Oh, mistake by Gary! Oh, is this going to gift second place to Edu? Edu, I keep changing the way I say his name. But is it going to give second to him? Peter. I think he's going to be able to close the door on him just in time. But made it nice very exit, interesting yeah. now. That final chicane has proven to be quite the bastard of the corner for, for quite a few people, to be fair, tonight. Oh, oh, both of a bit of a lock up, both going wide. Holtman blinded by the dust, thrown up by both the cars there. Just feathering the accelerator, EDU, you can hear it there. He's going to try his best to get past, try and salvage something from that incident on the chicane earlier. Trying to get as much of a toe as he can off Amiga. Making sure he was in his mirrors. Oh, Holtman looks like he made a little, the car, the clear went a little bit unsteady for him there, but managed to recover without coming off. He did flash his lights. I'm not sure whether he thought that was the final lap then, and he was uh, flashing his lights to celebrate, but. This is the final <laughs> lap now. <coughs> I mean, it's pretty much safe to say that Blue Gobi has definitely done enough now, even probably with a spin at the chicane. Aww. Oh, EDU going off into the dirt easy. there. There he has gotten away with it. Right. Last few corners as we come up now to the, uh, the end. I think Holtman's just a bit too far back to get involved in the uh, equation for third, uh, second, sorry, but... Yeah, unless, unless something happens here. Happen we go, here we go. Doby nicely through the last chicane and he wins. Edin yeah. Prodo, I was just saying, here we go. Dive bomb, maybe. Oh, bit of a late break there by Gaddy. Oh, what's this? Oh, what? It's, what? It's... Holtman! Sneaky! What I'm happened there? I'm not actually sure what happened there. I thought I did <laughs> Yeah. I didn't uh, see that as a like a uh, penalty. Uh caught a bit of penalty because he did I don't know whether he just maybe was in the wrong gear, maybe he's it it, it just seemed uh, like his car <laughs> it's it, it just seemed like his car stalled. But Oh, what a shame for the lad, so he was back, you know. He led led the, a lot of the race in first place. Ends up in fourth. I mean, I think he'd be pleased overall. You know, it's he, yeah, he yeah, can't. Yeah. He, you know, it's he's shown great potential tonight. Holtman, great little driver. I mean, he's where could he have been if he didn't have all those those incidents? Uh, I think he'll probably kick himself. Not the not the not his best drive from him tonight. Uh, I think we've seen a a, a weaker side of, of Holtman. Uh, Amiga, nice to see him back on, on the winning spot. Great drive from him. Uh, Blue Gobi, again, you know, another great drive. Great, great pole as well. So, uh, Blue Gobi takes full points. You know, great drive from everyone tonight. It's, you know, it was the instant with the back marker where, you know, we'll just have to remind people, just just stay on your line. It means John Green, apologise to you. Uh, my pad fucked up and, and that's why, why I retired. You know, it, it, it does happen, John. You know, but this is why we say if you ever if you ever a back marker, 
and you've got faster ones coming. Sometimes, 99% of the time, it's better to just stay on the line that you are and just let the faster guys go through first. Don't really sort of move out the way because guaranteed when you move, they'll move as well. So, But it happens, you know, it's it's one of them. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll create talking points of, of the racing. It, you know, it happens in real racing as well. It, it's one of them things. But another... You know, great opening round there as well. Let me just uh, load up the table, just get a screen grab of that. You know, great opening round. I, I couldn't really ask for a better opening round than that. What your feelings on it, James? Oh, both well for the season. That was really enjoyable. So, yeah, bring it on next week again. Yeah, looking forward to, to round two. So, it does return next Saturday. Same time, half past eight. Should have RS Jim back and Cam one two three back in the race as well. So interesting. Definitely uh, join us again next week if you are watching on Facebook. Uh, do leave a comment. Let us know where you're doing. Share the video around as well. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, do give us a like and subscribe. And as always, join in the fun over on Facebook. So it's Next Gen Racing Leagues community. And we'll see you next week for more Ollie Pitchley Clio Cup racing. Let's catch you later, yeah, guys. See you again.